Now, if a writer removes a dot or a letter from a word, it changes the word usually, right? Right. By, um, if you have a T, right? Though it does mean queen, right? T-H. O-W means queens, right? Now, the thing about an image is there's more than one image, though, right? There's no real queen of heaven but the Lord, but the Lord. Ah, she's one in God, right? She's one in Christ Jesus, right? The king and queen are one in Christ Jesus, right? The male and female are one in Christ Jesus, right? It don't matter what masculine or feminine word you use there, right? The mother and father or father and mother are one in Christ Jesus, right? It goes down the line. The man and woman are one in Christ Jesus, right? Whatever you want to call them, right? Whatever word you use for the masculine, the yin and the yang are one in Christ Jesus, right? It's what we all forgot, though, right? Through Satan's deception, right? When he had sex with Adam and Eve and Eden. Eve wants us to lie about that, right? Not that sex between the male and female is wrong, nor can you condemn the males and males or the females and females who want to be with each other either. either. That's because of the sin nature of men, Right? See, the problem is Satan wants us to condemn each other. Yes. That's kind of why we're dying and we don't understand that yet. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't. God and Jesus do. Right. But they're trying to bring us back to the garden before the fall. Right. No matter how long it is, even if it's two days or three days, which could be as 3,000 years, right? He's trying to bring us back into the fold, right? The sheepfold of God, right? If you will. Mm -hmm. The perfection of the earth back to how it was in Eden. But this time it'll only take a day to replenish it, right? Not six as it did in the beginning, right? So when you make something from scratch, there's nothing to replenish yet. Yeah. When you make it the first time, you have to make it again, you're replenishing what you already made, right? There's at least two replenishings mentioned alone in the King James Version of the Bible, right? Or the actual Hebrew script itself, right? The word is used in Genesis chapter 1, right? And 6. And again, <laughs> in chapter 9, right? After the flood, right? He tells Moses to replenish the earth, the same thing he told Adam and Eve, right? Now, if you're replenishing something, it was already filled. <laughs> it was something, it was something. Oh, oh. <laughs> Christians don't read that word right, right, or get what it means, right? They've been blinded by Satan. <laughs> That's what something sealed means, too. You're overlooking the use of the certain word King James put in there, right? Replenish means to refill, right? Well, if something was filled to the full, and then you had to refill it again, right? right. We keep citing the Satan, then, right? He says both are forever good and evil, right? So that means even if Satan repents, he can also go back into the sin, right? That creates a loop, too, right? A certain amount of time, right? where he's convinced to sin, and then there's a certain amount of time where he's convinced again not to sin again. Right. Right before he's probably cast into the lake of fire, right, or shortly there. Oh, right. Because he, he don't want that for real. I know. He's just fronting that he wants to sin with us, right. But really, he knows better about that, right. But he's pretending he don't, right. But it's right before he's about to be cast into the lake of fire. As he says, hold up, wait a minute, I'm repent. <laughs> it was all my fault. It was all my fault. And that's all he's got to do is repent himself. See, if you take out the leader and you make him repent, no one else needs to repent because then that's the end of the problem. Yes. You ever heard of that? Right. 
There's two ways to take the leader out and be back on your side, right? Or wipe him out completely, right? Well, that's his option until the Lake of Fire, right? Now, when he's in the Lake of Fire, he's going to be there forever and ever if you don't repent, right? Right before, right? If he repents right before, he goes back to the same state of being the anointed cherub that covers before he fell. Before he fell. He can also do that too, being that he became human too, right? The man, according to Isaiah, who's sinning, is following Satan's sin, which is the sin of pride, right? Trying to assault his throne above the stars of heaven, right? And the throne of God itself, right? You can't go no higher or lower than you go went now, right? This is the end of the road, as they say, right? But it's also the beginning of a new road, right? Every end has a new beginning of something else you got to go through until it's finally over, right? But then when it's finally over, it's finally over for everyone, right? And like I keep telling you, there are pretty women all over the place that I would go for, but I gotta wait, right? She's one of them. She might get work, right? Olivia definitely could work, right? But like I keep telling you, right? We're critiquing each other, too, which is legal fair use of any copyrighted material. Mm -hmm. I like Olivia's video, right? So I can promote her instead of putting her down, right? Other people who don't like the video might put it down, right? People who do like it keep trying to keep going, right? And like I said, she's got all the attributes of any man would want, right? But she's got choice too, right? Not me, not me. I have no choice, right? But the way, right? <sighs> now, if you think all this is making me move on to the next girl and it ain't you and you done been with me and you don't want to get pregnant but you don't check to see if you're pregnant like Molly Z did both Molly Z and the girl that now could have had a baby without knowing it right they're in the dial right and then put the baby up for adoption or in foster care right you have other options I know you can do that right but then that means you did everything in spite, right, of the truth I told you, right? Now, the thing is, Malakoth, or Koth, mm -hmm, however you want to say it, or Coat, mm -hmm, calls this a K-O sound, right, or Q sound, right, with the word, with the word is used by Jeremiah in Jeremiah 44, verse 17, right? On to the end, on to the end. He's talking about her, which is La'ah, right? To her, to her, in the Hebrew, right? And el a, -A is one of his titles, right? How can that be? I don't know if he's masculine and feminine, if he's masculine and feminine. El Ua is also used, as is Hua Hua. But you're ashamed of it. You're being taught by your rabbi not to even say it, which God never said that, right? He says to call upon the name of the Lord. What do you think that is? Saying it, saying it. But how shall they call on him in whom they do not, right? How to say his name, right? You can only say it one real way, one real way. Though with the divine name, since the Vav can be a Wa, mm -hmm, or a Vav, right? There's two ways now, right? You can do Yahva, who he, right? Or Yahua, who he, right? Now the thing is, who the he means he and she too, right? <laughs> but you shorten it without the H because with the H it can also mean breathe to breathe to breathe Hava means to breathe or the breath the breath so breath is what Va means Yava 
And that's the other way to say it, right? Is Yahva or Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two ways you can say it. Mm -hmm. But that's sarcasm when the prophet is saying, in that day shall there be one Lord in his name, one, right? It don't mean there's only one way to say it. It means there's only one way to know of it, right? And the way that you're doing it, there's two names now, right? But you gotta know both names. I know how to really do it. How to really do it. <laughs> and it still involves who I or Ba Yava itself, right? Which are the two Ha Ya, Asher Ha Ya, and Ha Fa. Mm hmm. Are from the same root, except one has the yod and one has the vav, right? Or the wa. Mm -hmm. When it's wa, it's ah after the wa, right? And when it's vav, because it's talking about a breath, right? The breath is feminine also, and the exhalation is masculine, right? Of the breath, right? Though it's a metaphor. Mm -hmm. Another metaphor, right? For the truth, right?